Today's quick cast is from August 17th, 1957. It's a radio call uh, from Ebbets Field in Brooklyn, New York, uh, in a game with the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Brooklyn Dodgers. So here we go to the top of the fourth now. Koufax cruising right along, uh, no hitter through uh, through three. Uh, the first two batters of the fourth, he gets out, and up comes Dick Grote and then Bob Skinner. So uh, here's that broadcast. <laughs> So there goes the no-hitter for Koufax. And when you think about Koufax, you know, everyone thinks about that amazing run he had from 62 to 66, where he was a dominant pitcher, the best pitcher in baseball at the time, um, and one of the greatest runs in the history of the game. But uh, a lot of people don't think about the beginning of his career. You know, Koufax came up as a bonus baby, which meant at the time he wasn't allowed to go to the minor leagues to really um, develop as a pitcher. So he had to go right to a major league uh, roster right out of high school. So he didn't pitch a lot for the first, for the beginning part of his career. And in this game uh, here, this was only uh, his 11th start of the season. And he was just a spot starter for the Dodgers at the time. So uh, they knew he had tremendous talent. Uh, they wanted to harness that talent, but it was hard to do. Uh, they were a very competitive team at the time. Uh, so it was hard for them to work him into the um uh, work him into the rotation while they while he was working out how, what type of pitcher he was going to become. So the next clip is going to bring you uh, uh, to the fifth inning uh, where Koufax is going to be facing uh, Bill Verdon, Hank Foyles, and the great Roberto Clemente. We'll see you there, and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.